Concerns around the safety of scholar transport in Mitchell's Plain persist, uh, with several vehicles impounded on the second day of this academic year. Authorities pull the vehicles off the road to enforce the adherence to safety regulations. Senior reporter Aisha Ishmael is tracking the story and filed this report. It's day two of the new school term and already several vehicles have been impounded by traffic officials for being in violation of scholar transport regulations. I'm now joined by the MEC for mobility here in the Western Cape. So you've been monitoring some of the schools in the Mitchell's Plain area. What have you found? Good morning and what we found this morning is quite heartbreaking. As you have said in your introduction, one of the vehicles that was empowerment this morning for violating traffic and scholar transport regulations had 60 children in the vehicle, four sitting on top of each other. It is reckless and irresponsible. We've also seen several buckies impounded this morning, including yesterday as well. One of the other drivers that was arrested this morning was arrested for being under the suspicion of alcohol with more than 20 kids in his taxi. It is just unacceptable and reckless at the beginning of the school year, day two, that we see such irresponsible and reckless behavior in getting kids to school. But you were telling me earlier you also came across a very young driver who was clearly not in possession of a driver's license. This driver should not even be, have a learner's driver's. It was completely underage and should not be operating any vehicle. Needless to say, a public transport operating, transporting school children. That is unacceptable and we are asking all our parents and owners, particularly owners of public transport vehicles to ensure that drivers are legalized and formalized and have the appropriate documentation and driving our children to school.